What's up, Capoeira Life Addicts? This is Macaquinho with another sequence practice video. As I mentioned on my Chapeau Gicoro tutorial, I've been working on integrating this powerful kick into my game, and these are some of the sequences that have helped me explore different ways of getting in and out of it. So let me show you a quick sequence preview of what I've been working on. For this sequence, I decided to add a Chapa Giratoria, which is a kick that I need to get stronger at as well as a switch and a resistencia into a melody compasso just to kind of get used to keeping my opponent on their toes. And what I like about this sequence is that the moves are simple but when done correctly might just catch somebody off guard. So now let's get down to business. Let's break it down as I mentioned in other videos. I do like to break it down little by little, kind of building up movement by movement. That's how I practice so that way I can focus on each detail. And the first move here is a chapa lateral that lands back into base and Chapa Lateral translates to a spinning kick. Now once the Chapa Lateral is down, then you do a Hastera, or a fake Hastera into Kajihi and Negachiva. And the way that that one works is that you will land in base, and then you are gonna go with the front foot, that's the one that does the fake Hastera, go back into Kajihi, Hole, and go into the next movement which will be the infamous Chapeo Gicoro. Some people call it the Martel du Chão, and as I mentioned on my Chapeo Gicoro tutorial video, it's been dubbed as the most effective kick of all martial arts. And so the way that you go into it is after you go into the Kej Jihin, you will go into a Negachiva, and then you will wrap the leg around your ankle to kind of cock the leg back and get ready to then shoot that Chapeo Gicoro. If you want to see the tutorial, I'll post a link of it on the video as well as on the notes. And again, it's uh, Chapa Giratoria, Kera Jihin, cock the leg, Chapeo Gicoro, and then you'll be doing a switch into a Melodge Compasso. Now, I added that to kind of get used to throwing an opponent off guard. When you switch your stance, it's kind of hard for them to predict which way you're going, especially if you do it that fast, it kind of tends to throw them off of it. And after that, then I added a uh, resistencia. Now this move is really useful if you get a kick that is coming on the opposite direction very quickly and you don't have enough of a chance to switch out your stance to go into a esquiva. So then all you pretty much have left to do is to bend back into a resistencia. So as you can see over here, I keep my stance, I lean back, I keep my defense up, and I do the resistencia over now. Uh, one thing that's really important about that is to try to keep your hips up as high as possible so that way you can spring up fast enough in order to be able to do another move. With that, all that's left to add is that final Melody Compasso to do the full sequence. So let me go ahead and show you the full sequence. And just to recap this sequence, we'll start with a Chapa Giratoria, then go into a Hastera, Kerajihi, Negachiva, Chapeo Gicoro, Switch, Melody Compasso, Resistencia, and then an immediate Melody Compasso from that same position to catch your opponent off guard as quickly as possible. And that's your full sequence, Capoeira boys and girls. I hope that it helps. My little disclaimer as always is to let you know that I'm not an instructor, I'm not even a high core. This is just me sharing practices that I do on my own to kind of complement the classes that I'm already getting hopefully to encourage you to train even harder. And with that, I just wanna close by saying thank you. I've really been appreciating the comments. I would actually love to hear how you use this kick in your game, as well as maybe other things that you're working on that you'd love to train more on. It might give me some ideas of future videos to do or different things that I can work on myself. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to the channel or you can follow me at Instagram at Capoeira Life Addict where you can see some behind the scenes work as well as some drills that might help you complement your training. So goodbye and ashe.